Okay, welcome to, uh, this is Bastion. <clears throat> it's a game by the game title developers that you're seeing right now. No. <laughs> you don't know what to say. <laughs> you just said, by them. Uh, I'm gonna start off talking a little bit about this. Uh, I got this from a website called HumbleBundle.com. Make sure you support them. They're helping out children. And what they do is, once a week they have a game that you can basically pay anything you want for. Now, I saw this game a long time ago on Xbox Live, and I always wanted it, but I never had the $15. So I paid $5 on Humble Bundle, and they gave me a Steam code. So I got it on Steam. But the site helps, the site helps Child's Play, which helps children's hospitals. Not Chucky Dolls. Children's hospitals. So that is a blind playthrough because I never played this game. I never even looked up anything about it. <laughs> yo, I just thought it looked. Yeah, I see. Pretty. I see slugs inside the uh, the cryptic writing. The slugs are butterflies. At the beginning. What? So That's what the like cryptic. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Nice. Ground forms up under his feet as it pointing the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. Oh, nice. That a survivor. No, ma'am. It's a gas fella. Forced out from underground. Shit. Um, kid pops him good. Fella got a piece of him, though. An old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Nice. So, if you hold X and just keep shooting? Yeah. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. So we got our own narrator. Tunnels up around him. Must have fled here from the mines. Oh, at least you got a whole healing area, which is basically a big ass fountain. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking dead. Rondi always wanted his ashes scattered here. <laughs> then he finds what? his trusty shield. But just as he's getting a handle on it, the security takes him for a petty thief. Oh, shoot. Sure. Gonna block the shield. Special delivery, gas fellas. Oh, you got a stagger system on here, too. Nice. Windbags start turning up the last call. What you think about the game so far? I like it. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. Don't get too hack and slash now. So you, you think there's gonna be missions on this? It's a bit of a drop. You think there's gonna be missions on this game or? Oh, I are. It looks looks good. 
<clears throat> I like that artwork a lot. He gets a good look at things on his way down. Dude sounds like Ron Perlman. War. On top of a breaker's War never changes. That was it. Wasn't long before the kid could oh, shit. arrow, strong and true. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. Strong as arrow, <laughs> bow and arrow, man. This is worth the 15 bucks if you get it. This one Xbox Live is worth the five dollars. This game is worth a lot. I like the graphics. Can't really bash this game. It's not like the new games that come out. The good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they aiming for the kid. Don't forget, you can block. You can block that stuff with the shield. Up a few pointers from a dusty old tome. Oh shit! He's a mighty fast learner. Don't forget those elixirs down there too. I got full. No, you're missing one. Now you're full on both. You still got a health meter and a magic meter. Sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid will feel like a new man. Critical hits, Missouri stray fragments. Wait, one max is out health. We'll go for health. The arsenals where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. <laughs> No, select it, and it probably have like another. Cause right now you got the gun, right, or the bow and arrow. The gun's the in there. Bow. Yeah, the gun should be in there, right? Yeah, I want the bow. Some of them squirts, birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. You can shoot multiple. All right, let's get it. Wait, that thing's shooting out bean heads? Yeah, it was. You know what this reminds me of? What? Gauntlet. Gauntlet. Get that Especially experience. Especially that enemy, enemy shit. Get that experience right there. That crystal. It's like floating. Oh, that experience. What is that then? That's for the soul thing? I miss Gauntlet. That one was Maud, the tutor. Once taught the kid good manners. He never used them, though. <laughs> An old ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. It auto lock, it auto aims or no? Yeah. Watch it near death. What was that? Kid takes a chunk of alloy. Smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Scumbag. Whoa. This kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. Don't forget when you block there, the big guys attack, they stagger. Damn. Oh shit. 
too much shit going on. Kid puts him out of his misery. You might have to use your whirlwind on that uh, big guy. You gotta get rid of him. Cause all he's doing is just throwing up everywhere. Robs a scumbag of his last meal. Oh, they're the ones spawning those fucking heads. Nice. You also have to watch because everything in the stage is breakable, even the floor, and you fall down to your death. I did a lot of that. <laughs> oh, they did it. They did it too. Huh? The guy's dying. Blew up the floor. He finds the core part to the wharf district. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. Kid has a feeling he better get a move on. The place is starting to fall. Holy shit. See that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Whoa. Kid just keeps running. Oh, if you grab those with full health, you get experience. I get it now. Nice. At last, the skyway is in sight. Whisks him where it needs to go. I'm loving this fucking game. Achievement unlocked. And you get an achievement. Now the kids see something stranger still. <laughs> Fuck trophies. Races. Get an achievement. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. We talk for a spell. <laughs> All I tell him is to set that core is on the monument there. Then watch. Wait, he's that guy. There's a bit of the bastion's power on that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. Oh shit. So he's like, oh, that red nose and glasses. Just like that, the bastion comes alive. Starts growing again, growing stronger. The kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. This fucking music! It's awesome. Check around before you go there. <laughs> you probably gotta go there first. Kid ponders what to build. Makes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. You know, go for health. I right, got it. Oh, so there's new things you can get each time you level up. You're so zesty, it'll let you carry on through the worst of times. So you gotta rebuild that place. Kid don't know what's out there waiting for him. Alright, well this episode ended up episode one. How you like it so far? 
I'm not even playing it. I'm, I'm like eyes are glued to it. I want everybody to actually buy this game called Bastion. <laughs> Alpha the 360 PC and go and get it and enjoy it. Okay, next episode. We take the Skyway, figure out where it goes.